Hey there. Um, I had another topic that I needed to, um, I guess, vent about because I can't seem to get it out of my head. And that's when I know it's time for me to do a new video. Um, this is my way of venting and expressing myself um, when I have issues sometimes. <clears throat> anyway, today my issue is <clears throat> that a-hole told me that he didn't like me or like my lifestyle. He said he doesn't like my lifestyle. Now, I'm going to leave him nameless for now, but eventually I'm going to put his <clears throat> fake name and his real name on blast. And y'all can Google him and you all can laugh when you take a look at him and his fake ass profiles all over the internet and the bad things that are written about him and his lifestyle. Um, interestingly, this guy is a super geek, <clears throat> wears glasses, trips over himself, typical Asperger's computer nerd. <clears throat> However, <clears throat> his, his lifestyle and his his lifestyle is not so squeaky clean either. <clears throat> so, he had the nerve to... Ch this is the guy that keeps playing hard to get, kind of, right? And, um, hello, guys in L.A., just know this. If you play too hard to get, you're not going to get gotten at all. Because, like, I don't know. I, we, we, I get tired of, like, games. You just get, like, exhausted. And eventually, there's going to be another man that comes along and is still challenging, but not um, not being a prick. Let's just put it like that. Um, so, <laughs> and the woman's going to leave you, Mr. Hard to Get. If you, so if you're so hard to get, you're not going to be gotten. Let's just put it that way. Um, you're going to be left. Anyway, so he said my lifestyle. He doesn't like my lifestyle. The funny thing is we've never been on a date. We, he's never even been to this apartment of mine, and I've lived here over a year. Um, the only time he came to my other apartment, my last apartment, was because um, he was going to do this web reality project. Um, so he had to check out the supposedly going to do a web reality project. He's a fraud in many ways, so that was probably just some excuse to get to meet me. And um, anyway, that was the only time he'd ever come to my house, was to like look around for, you know, supposedly for this project for where to put the cameras and stuff like that. So, this guy recently had the nerve to tell me that he doesn't like me or my lifestyle. And that's why he doesn't ever date me or has never taken me out to dinner, or a movie, anything like that. First of all, I'm kind of like a mini celebrity. I recently had my first photo and little thing of me um, published in In Touch magazine this month. It was the October 10th issue with Jennifer Aniston. That was so exciting for me. Because, dude, like, that to me is like, I am officially, in my mind, officially a celebrity. So, I've been in touch. And I had a mention, what's called a mention, like, um, a, a month before that. So, I was mentioned, um, the paparazzi had seen me at Millions of Milkshakes in Hollywood creating my own Caliente Milkshake. So I would, that was talked about in the um, in uh, in touch as well. So I am now a mini celebrity. Now, what this guy tried to tell me was that he doesn't like my lifestyle. The funny thing is, he knows doesn't know jack shit about me. He doesn't know like he doesn't even know me. I, honestly, I have a feeling. Remember, he's a computer geek with glasses and all. I think that guy has been watching and whacking. My off to my videos, my YouTube videos, and all the videos that I post all over the internet, and my pictures, even before he ever met me. That's my philosophy. And I think that he thinks he knows me. I think he thinks he's having a relationship with me. In fact, that's why he doesn't need to call me. Um, well, first of all, I found out he hacks my texts and all my emails. So, that, in addition to watching all my videos, and I think that in his head, he feels we have a relationship. And although I wanted a relationship with him, he doesn't show up for the relationship in physicality. <laughs> because I think that he, we already have one in his head. So he thinks he knows me. And he had the nerve to tell me that he doesn't, because I, I insulted him. Um, so he, I think he was trying to retaliate. And he told me, 
I don't even, I don't like you. I don't like your lifestyle. I'm like, that's interesting because for some, for somebody that you don't like, you sure put a lot of energy into like um, hacking all my texts, reading them, and actually following me to a guy's house one time and standing outside and stalking me. So that's really weird because most stalkers don't not like their victims. <laughs> so the guy thinks he that I live some crazy lifestyle and that I am just this total train wreck, right? How the fuck would he know? Hello? He's never even spent a day with me. He's never even spent a minute with me in my freaking apartment at home. He doesn't know what a day is like for me. I have a feeling he thinks that I wake up and I just light up a joint and I've got girl, drunk girls and guys like laying all over my house because we just had a big party the night before and the house is just trashed and there's empty beer bottles and you know, rock and roll or something, playing on the stereo and just pot and lines of dr lines of cocaine on the tables and, you know, just a place that's just trashed, you know what I'm saying? And and then I wake up, probably roll out of bed and like, what, like get in the car and go through a drive through and, you know, and, and what else would I be doing? Um, and I go screw about five guys and then I probably go um, pick up some drugs and oh, and a bottle of whisk, couple bottles of whiskey, and drink while I'm driving home. And then I probably pick up some more strange guys in the street and bring them home, and and just have like this crazy, crazy lifestyle. And little does he know, I am, and little do a lot of people know, I am so normal, and I'm a really good mom. Like, don't believe. My, the, the hype, like, when you look at my Facebook pictures, okay, you're going to see me at nightclubs and on red carpets, but that's just a blurb, that's just a tiny moment in time in my life, sometimes I go to those events and I leave right away, you, I'll go on the red carpet and leave because I'm tired or I'm not feeling well, and guess what, I go home and I put on my, my, my cozy pajamas like I have on right now. And, and I'm just laying on the couch with a glass of wine or water or Sprite and watching DVDs. And, and that's oftentimes that's what I do. Oh, I turned green all of a sudden. <laughs> How did that happen? Anyway, um, like little do you guys know, like what I really do and what I'm really like. Don't judge me by what you see in videos and on, you know, like, and in photos. You know, you may see one moment where I'm, like, being grabbed by on the butt by a guy or something in a, in a picture. That was mo one moment in time. Like, the rest of the 99% of my life isn't that. And it, I didn't even know sometimes a guy was, like, doing a position that was provocative or something like in a photo or whatever. I don't even know what's going on half the time. And I'm really quite, I'm really quite the nerd. Like, when I wake up, this is a, kind of a typical day, day for me. I wake up and I clean up the dog poop on the wee-wee pads and the bunny poop because now we have a bunny with two dogs and a bunny. We have a beagle, a tiny chihuahua, and a bunny. They're all trained, but now that it's getting cold, um, I, I close the, the, the balcony window so they can't, they can't go outside for the for, to use the bathroom. They use their wee-wee pads. So first, I'm a clean freak. As you can see, everything is white and I like everything really clean and everything. So um, the first thing I do is clean. Because I like to start off my day with a clean, organized house. I clean any dishes that are in there and whatever. And then I may, um, it depends on the day. Like, um, I may throw some laundry in the in the washing machine. While, and then I whip, whip open my little laptop. Um, and I'll, I will be starting to get phone calls and stuff. And like, um, just an example, one of the things we're working on right now is getting my swimsuits into um, a store in Arkansas. My friend is opening a store and she wants to put my Caliente swimsuits in there. So we're doing things like I'm selecting the swimsuits and talking to the wholesaler and emailing her about, you know, oh, do you have this in this size? And do you, how come this isn't on the website? I want to order this and can I blah, 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 you know, things like that. Next, I'll check my emails and stuff like that. Maybe my daughter needs a ride somewhere. You know, um, she was finishing up a few classes, uh, that she needed to actually get her diploma from high school because there were some issues with her, uh, with her, uh, what do you call it, 
her transcripts. So there was some classes she missed because she, she went to school internationally and they missed some classes. So she had to catch up some. She finally finished. But for the last year, year and a half, I've been driving her to school and from school almost on every twice a week. So I would do that. And then I would sit in my car while I'm waiting for her because her school would be like one or two hours. We'd pick up her friend too and take her. Um, hi, Nicole. He, that's my other daughter, Nicole Mizrahi. Um, anyway, um, adopted daughter or whatever. So, and I would sit in the car and make phone calls or go run errands. I'd go to like save on and pick up toilet paper and toothpaste and, you know, like nail polish remover, <laughs> dog food, <laughs> weeby pads. And I'd, I, or like, and then I'd go to McDonald's and get like a freaking, you know, Sprite or something to drink and just sit in the car and wait. Then I take the girls home. This is a typical day for me. And then I would go home and what happens next? Um, oh, I'd be like, oh, shoot, we need something for dinner. You know, I'd stop at the store. It seems like I go to the store every single day, like the grocery store. So I would go to the grocery store and pick up some things for dinner. Sometimes I go to the Indian food market because I like to cook a lot of Indian food. And I'll get what I'm going to cook for dinner and then I cook it. And, and then I don't. What else do I do? I, Mariello usually walks the dog. I might do some yoga later that... I like to do my yoga at night. Um, and then what else? I'm just running errands all day. Might go to the library or Redbox and rent a movie, you know, because we don't, I don't, we don't watch TV. We don't have cable. I don't really want it. So we watch a lot of DVDs and um, I don't know. My life is a lot simpler now than it used to be. I don't really go to red carpets that much right now. Um, we finished, we were filming a teaser for about, I'm working on a, a project, um, for, for something for about four months, four or five months. So we were doing a lot of filming and interviews and, um, uh, working on that project. And, uh, what else is there? Uh, trying to get my swimsuits on QVC with my record label. He has a connection there and that's not looking so good, but you know, that's, that's emails and phone calls and and stuff like that, and um, sometimes I'll go to the gym and lift a little weights and do a little cardio. I, I don't do that that much anymore, but um, then I've had um, a lot of doctor's appointments, so I um, oh, and a lot of phone calls trying to get some really good health insurance in place, and that has been, oh my god, that has been a disaster, like I'm talking hours and hours on the phone. Um, oh, the other thing I've been on the phone with uh, for a long time is um, with um, a credit card. Somebody tried to steal money online off of my credit card. So I had to be on the phone for hours and hours and hours with the credit card company and the freaking money transfer company, Western Union, that she tried to steal money from some random stranger in the Philippines. Um, her name is um, M.A. Fatima Villena, V-I-L-L-E-N-A, and she has a partner whose last name is Dum Dum. Ironic, isn't it? So they've been caught by me, uh, and I've reported it. I have to file a police report. This is all stuff that goes along with being, a, you know, a mini celebrity. Um, what else? Um, I, I don't know. That's my day. It's it's not as crazy and wild as that. I'm not like sitting around snorting drugs all day. I'm not like um, I, I'm not doing anything. My lifestyle is really quite normal. I'm actually a better mom than most of my daughter's mothers, believe it or not. My daughter's turning out to me much, I have a better head on her shoulders than most of her friends. And she's not involved in, in any, like, drug addictions or, you know, eating disorders. And she doesn't have any, like, you know, she's not, like, sexually promiscuous or anything like that. And, um, everything's cool. You know, I had to go pick up my car, I had to take my car to the mechanic to repair it several times, <laughs> rent a car and stuff like that. I went to New York in June. That was cool. I went to Saturday Night Live and met with my friend Gina for lunch and dinner and hung out with a new friend, Brent Camponi. And um, went and saw the Jimmy Kimmel show live. Oh, I'm sorry, Jimmy Fallon, Fallon show live and went backstage and met him and stuff like that. And now I'm doing a lot of background work. Um, that's just bread and butter for actresses and models and whatever. That's 
some my bread and butter. I do a lot of background work. So I sit around on a set all day and, and I get up and I am put in a position and I, I'm background. I'm a background actress, so I'm not like the main actress. I can't always be the star, you know, sometimes you got to be the supporting star and that's okay. Um, pays the bills sometimes. And, um, and yes, I do have some, some very nice gentlemen that sometimes um, either invest in me or um, give me money or gifts or whatever, and and um, sometimes I don't date very much, but um, I do have some men that are just sort of like, how can I say, almost like fans. I do have some men that I date, and sometimes they they like to just give me money and um, big freaking deal. Like I don't, I, we never bring men to the house. We have a rule, my daughter and I, that we don't bring men to the house. Like you literally have to be somebody really really like we've known for a long long time or somebody that we fully trust for some specific reason and so far I think we've only had one or two males in this house in total in over a year so that's how we are we have a rule um we don't throw parties here our carpets we try to keep them really clean and our furniture so I'm really meticulous I don't I don't know where this lifestyle issue is coming from. You know, if, if I do go out and get drunk, I haven't done that for ages. If I do, it's like such in such moderation. It's so few and far between times, you know. And if I have ever done recreational drugs, God forbid. Hey, I'm from San Francisco and Berkeley. I'm sorry, but I went to school at Berkeley there's just no way you're going to leave San Francisco and Berkeley without having experimented with drugs. I hate, I hate to say it, but I, I have, I've experimented with some drugs and I, uh, you know, I, if, you know, I'm not going to name some drugs, but let's just put it this way. I have no addictions. Anything I do, I do in moderation. I don't do anything illegal, no drunk driving or as substance abuse, using substances, you know, and being high and driving and stuff like that. And my life is like, it's quite under control now. Last year I was hexed. So my whole life was completely like somebody was trying to destroy me and they still try to now, but I've got, I'm onto her. So, and I, and I know who it is. Last year it was more than one, but there's one main one that keeps trying to bring me down and doing whatever little voodoo she's trying to do but um I'm on to her now and uh, I've got I've got that under control but I've never my life last year my whole life has never ever ever been like that that's how you know when you're hexed my life is not one that's a train wreck my life has never been a train wreck look at my resume look at my accomplishments you can't be an irresponsible party girl train wreck and have that kind of resume or biography look on my website ilianafisher.com i l i a n a F-I-S-C-H-E-R dot com. Okay. I have my own swimsuit line. I have a cosmetics line. Still working on the vodka line. Um, what else is there? Um, I have a lot of I have some big things in the works right now. And um, you can't be like a party girl train wreck and have a really whack lifestyle and be able to do accomplish all that I have. I have to show up on TV sets as a background extra, sometimes at 6 in the morning. That means I have to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning to do my hair and makeup and be in traffic and make, to make sure that I get there on time. Now, if you're a train wreck and you're a drug addict and an alcoholic and you're just a mess, you're not going to make it on time and you're not going to get used over and over again. Whenever I do background work, they use me over and over and over and over. Why? I show up on time. I'm not. I'm totally normal and balanced and I'm not high drunk or in a bad mood or moody or weird I'm quiet I'm good I'm responsible I've been doing background work since I moved to LA practically like since seven about seven years ago on and off and central casting I have a great reputation with them and you know I wouldn't have a great reputation with anybody if I was a train wreck and had a horrible lifestyle and brought it into my work as well so this whole bullshit about Oh, I don't like you and your lifestyle. Dude, you don't even know me. You're sit sitting there, like, judging. You're the type of person, you're a sheep. I call it people like him sheep. 
they sit there and they judge judge people just like like you're either a dreamer or you're a person who's living your dreams. You're either watching people live their dreams or you're, or you're living your own dreams. He's one of those people that watches people live their dreams and then rationalizes in his head why he doesn't supposedly doesn't want to be like them or doesn't want to live his dreams. Like, in other words, he's trying to tell himself, oh, well, celebrities such as Ileana have really crazy fucked up lifestyles and that's why I don't want to be like that, you know. She's inferior, she's a loser, she's this and that, you know. And that way he can sit in his mediocre living room, in his mediocre, you know, with his mediocre job and mediocre looks and mediocre everything. And sit there and justify being a mediocre person who is like one sheep in a herd just following the other sheep. Bat, bat, you know, like freaking can't even think for themselves, think outside the box. Just when it does what, you know, society tells you to do, is like follow the rest of the people. Anybody who's different and has an uh, unconventional lifestyle is frowned upon by this person. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with my lifestyle. Isn't, I wouldn't say it's normal. It's not. Never has been. And I, I prefer it that way. I choose it that way. Um, it's, my lifestyle is unconventional. Do you know what? There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I'm a better mom than 95% of the moms in that I meet of my mom's friends. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, you know what? I excel at just about everything I do. And I have a good reputation at every job that I've ever been at. I have a good reputation with everybody who knows me. The only thing, if, if people know me, they like me. So this guy obviously doesn't even know me. He's too scared to get close enough to me to know me. And you know why? Because then he's going to get pissed off at himself. Because he's going to realize I'm really a nice, very nice person. A very normal and very balanced person. And it's he's going to be pissed off at himself because he's going to have to admit to himself that there's nothing wrong with people who have a fabulous lifestyle like mine. There's nothing wrong with my lifestyle and there's nothing wrong with me. And it's going to make him have to face up to the fact that he always wanted to be some live like me and be just like me. But he didn't have the cojones to do, to do it. So... Instead, he rationalized and criticized people who live the life that he wishes he could lead. So now, if he, that's why he doesn't want to get to know me. Because if he gets to know me, he's gonna, he will have no more way of rationalizing to himself anymore why he didn't follow his dreams. See, I follow my dreams. I follow my heart. I do what makes me happy and what I feel is right. I'm not trying to live to anybody else's standards or... Or anybody else is like, what's right and what's wrong? You know, I'm trying to live up to what's right and wrong in my head and my heart. And that's why I'm a happy person. That's why I'm not aging. That's why I'm, not, I'm happy. I'm full of energy. My chakra and all my energy is clean and clear. Because I, I'm not worried. I'm not judging anybody else. I'm not thinking about anybody else. You know, in a negative way, I'm just sitting here, like, living my life and do what make, doing what makes me happy. Whereas someone like him, his chakra's all fucked up. If your chakra's all fucked up, you might want to fix your chakra and clean it. And judging other people is the most primary way to close your chakra and close off the blessings in life. Close off long life and, and, and eternal youth and close off you know, happiness and love. So you might want to, like, stop with this judging bullshit because you don't know me. You don't know me at all. I gave, I've give. i been giving you a chance to try and get to know me and you keep pushing me away and shutting me out and judging me. You don't even know me for shit. You don't even, you don't even know me that much. You don't know the real me at all. There's an image that I portray out there and an image that people like to see. Of me, but that's only a very small part of me. There's there's a lo a lot more to me than he knows, and he and there's a part of him that knows that, and he's scared to get to know the parts of me that are fucking perfect and outstanding, which is most of me. <laughs> he's afraid to get to realize that I'm a freaking superb human being. Because he, then he will have no more rationalizations as to why he's not living his dreams while I am. So take that. Mm. Mm. Mm.